Welcome, welcome, welcome to Learning Reaper. I am your host, x.e.l.o. Today, what I want to do is actually go over some free VSTs. I'm going to do a little series of all the VSTs I did show you in this video here um, so that you guys can kind of see the actual VSTs in action. And the first one I'm going to start with is IOTA Mini Scene, and it's probably the easiest one to get to and to download and to use. So let's get into that right now. All right, so in order to actually get this, you want to go to the Angelic Vibes uh, website. I do have a link below in the description where you can actually get this downloaded. Uh, and it is absolutely free. So IOLA Mini is free. It's a trap VST, as you can see here on the page. Uh, and this is kind of what it looks like. Really simple to use, and you can use it for Windows and Mac. This site also gives you some freebies on here as well. If you look at the top here, you have some Serum pre presets and Vio presets. You can go right here to freebies. And once you click on that, it'll take you to all the free stuff on the site, right? So if you scroll down, so you get a chance to do like a hip hop sample pack, some piano loops, trap melodies, uh, vital presets for free. So that's really cool to have. They even have chords that you can use. So I'm gonna actually show you how to use these chords and drop them inside a rip chord. And that way you can have them spread out on your keyboard, which will make it a lot easier to make beats. And all of these are absolutely free. So if you do have like, you know, Massive or Omnisphere, they have presets in here for free that you can actually use, which is super dope. They have trap loops, they have uh, old school drum samples. So yeah, all these are free. It'll only ask you for your uh, name and an email, and then it'll actually give you an option to download these sample packs. So uh, like I said, it's free and it's something that you can actually use inside a Reaper. So let's get into it and I'll show you how to use it in Reaper. All right, so here we are in Reaper and this theme is called Reaper Tips. So shout out to Reaper Tips for the theme. So over here, I have the packs already loaded. This is the uh, the packs that actually come with it. These are free packs that they have. So you have them for melodies, you have a drum loops. So if you needed loops, we have loops now, All right? So you can click on them and it'll play the loop. All right, and what's also cool is I give you the stems. So if you do want it to break down those drums, you can have, you know, just the hi-hats, just the snares, right? Or just a kick. So I think that's really cool that they actually separated all of them like that. And like I said, there's a whole bunch of different kits for a whole bunch of different things. So you have melody loops as well. So you can use. And they also have one shots. So pretty much whatever you need inside of those samples, you can have them uh, kind of all separated here. Uh, here are the chords. So if you needed chords for like a chord pack, you can go in here and they have the waves set up for them. So you can hear the waves. So if you wanted to use the, the waves and actually cut them up to make a, a sample or a song, you could do that here, or you can just go up to the MIDI part and it'll show you the MIDI. As you can see down here, the MIDI is there, but there's nothing playing because there's nothing <laughs> here. So let me add an instrument really quickly. Let's actually add an IOTA MIDI on here. Here it is, and here is what it looks like. So let's go and find an instrument. As you see in here, it has 808, it has bass, it has bells, guitars, keys, pads, plucks, synths. So pretty much whatever you want to use, uh, it should have something similar to it in here, right? So I'm just going to click on the keys and let's see if this will actually play. Yep. So big shout outs to Angelic Vibes for doing the IOLA MIDI and the free sample packs that actually come with it as well. Super dope. And if you're a person that is looking for sounds and you can't find sounds and you want sounds for Reaper because it doesn't come with any, this is a perfect thing to actually get. So you get your drums, you also get some sounds, you get vocal chops, all from this free website. So definitely check it out.
So this is IO domain. This is what it looks like. You can click on here to go to like the browse the files or where they are for all these sounds. Uh, usually it downloads pretty simple. Just kind of download it and get it set up. Uh, you have a cutoff option here. So you could do a cutoff of your frequencies, right? And it goes from zero to a hundred. You also have a reverb on here that you could add on to the sound. So right. I could cut out the sound. All right, you could also add attack. So it'll take longer to actually start. And here is your release here. So really, really simple, nicely laid out. There's nothing really complicated about it. But let's get into making a beat with it. Okay, so as promised, I'm going to actually show you uh, it inside of Ripcord. So what I'm going to do is go right here to where it says effects. I'm going to click on here. So this is the effects for the input. This is your input effects. This is your track effects. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> so this is your track effects. This is your input effects. So I'm going to click on the input effects. And I want to go down to Ripcord. And this is what Ripcord looks like. So seeing that I just downloaded the IOTA mini, uh, mini packs, I can go to your, my settings here and I can go to import MIDI files, right? So once I click on that and then I, all I have to do is find where I put those packs, I have them in my new kits and then I have them in their own file. So this angelic vibes, free kits and sounds, this is where I have it. So I'll double click on that. I'm gonna stretch this out so I can see where the sample packs are or the chord packs. So here is the free chord packs here. There's a free one here, right? And I'm gonna go to the MIDI and I could select all of these MIDI, right? So all of these are like chord progressions. So I could hit open and it'll open all those. So now you see it says AV chord. So this is what it sounds like. Right, so. So all of these AV ones are the ones that I just added on here. Right, so I'm gonna go back in here and I'm gonna go to uh, import MIDI files again. Uh, and this time I'm gonna go back into the angelic vibes and this time I'm gonna go to the free chords that they have in here. Free chords and I'm gonna go to MIDI chords and here are all the MIDI chords that they have. And as you see, all of them start with AV. So I'm gonna click on the first one and go and hold down shift so I could collect all of them and I'm going to go to open. Now all of them have been set up in here. So if I go to my presets, you can see I have all these new AV ones in here, right? So all these AV ones are from angelic vibes. So you can also always set these up. I think it's super cool that Ripcord allows you to kind of do this and you can just use their midis inside of Ripcord. So let's make something. So what I'm gonna do is make a loop here and I'm gonna set up my MIDI input, right? So what's cool about this is that it'll actually play out the chords because of how I have it set up. So it'll you'll see all the chords being played down here inside of the MIDI editor. So let me take this off. All right. All right, so let's see if we can record something in.
All right, so I'll just stretch those last uh, notes out. Uh, and we could have always did a strum on there as well, but um, I'll just leave it how it is and just make sure everything is kind of quantized so it's actually on the grid. All right, so here's what it sounds like. All right, something really simple, nice little uh, progression here. So let's add another IOTA MIDI and see if we can get something else set up. All right, so I added a couple of uh, IOTA MIDIs on here. Um, so let's see if we can find something else that'll kind of work in here. All right, and for this first sound, I use this Astral Piano. Uh, for the second sound, I'm gonna be using this these plucks. All right, so I'm just gonna copy this down. I'm gonna make this simple on myself. I'm gonna hold down control, grab this, copy it down. Um, and I wanna, what I wanna do is join these. So I'm gonna hit J on my keyboard and that'll join those notes, right? I'm gonna hit go over here and hit J as well to join those notes. So now what I can do is make sure all this is, de is being arped, right? So I'm gonna grab all of these and I'm gonna go to my arp right here and let's do them as, Maybe one sixteenth. Let's see how that sounds. All right, I think I like that. All right, and for these um, arps, what I want to do is also change the velocity for them. So I'm gonna go over here to my velocity, and let's just change the velocity of these tracks, so they're not all just kind of this hitting the same. Right. So what I'm gonna do is grab this one again. I'm gonna hold down control, grab this top one, bring it down. And I'm just gonna delete all the top notes and just keep the 808 part or the, the bass part, bass notes. All right, and what I'm gonna do is lower these down. Uh, I'm, well, I will tell you that the 808 is not that great in this, uh, in this VST, but it will work. So something really simple that we can kind of uh, build on. So what I may want to do is actually add some uh, other notes in here or do some cuts just so that the 808 can kind of change up a little bit. So uh, let me do that and I'll get right back to you. All right. So I just laid down some uh, 808s in here. Nothing spectacular, just something to kind of give the track a little bit of bounce. So here's what it sounds like right now. Right, just something really simple to kind of uh, set the mood for the track itself. Uh, I wish it did have an option to do slides so you can kind of slide notes. It doesn't have any kind of portamento in there. So that could be, you know, something that you may want to look into with another uh, sampler, but it'll still get the job done. So let's move on. All right, and what I'm gonna do is add a synth in here next. So a synth is gonna be next. I'm, just, I'm gonna grab the same exact one. <laughs> I'm gonna bring this down, right? And what I want to do with this one is actually take like the the top notes this time or i guess i can take the bottom notes let's take the bottom notes again so let's do that let's go here grab all of these we're going to delete those take away this one take away this one And for these uh, low notes, what we're gonna do is bring those up. So that it'll give it a different vibe and different feel uh, to the track. So it'll kind of go up on these, uh, the synth. All right, so now we have our, uh, our piano, this one was the plucks. This one is a synth and this one is our uh, 808s. So let's add another iota mini. Uh, make it a little easier to duplicate this track, right? 
And this time, what I'm going to actually do is add this to a pad. So it does have pads in here as well. So the pads are pretty cool. So let's hear how that sounds. So now we have like a really full kind of track. So we can actually add these layers in a little bit later inside the track when we're doing change ups. So that's kind of why I like to use a lot of layers on the tracks. But as you can see, it makes it really simple with IOTA Mini to kind of make a nice little trap beat. So let's add one more for the drums. All right. And I'm going to go down to the drums or trap drum kits. These are super, super dope. Um, if you haven't already used this, this is probably slept on a lot. As you can hear, these are solid drum sounds and you also have an option to do gain on any of those. And you can also do your panning right here inside of IOTA Mini. As simple you can kind of lay down some drums and i'm just going to quantize these real quick just to kind of keep them on the grid uh and what i can do now is actually just duplicate this three times right so i'm gonna duplicate the track i'm gonna duplicate it again right so this way i can actually separate my drums if i want to so this first one here let's uh let's make this the kick so i'm gonna get rid of these two so i can right click Once you right click on the key over here, it'll highlight all of them. I can just hit delete and it'll remove them, right? So this one, let's make this the snare. So I'm gonna take this one, delete those and delete the kicks. And now I just need my hi-hat. So I'll just hit on this one and this one and delete those. And now I have all my stuff separated as well. So. And then you can always do like some uh, velocity changes for your hi-hats. So just change the range of your hi-hats, right? Give them a little bit of bounce. Uh, you can even move them off grid if you wanted to. Um, and this also gives me the option to say, I want, I want a different clap or I don't want this clap, right? Say I wanted it to be a snare. I can change the kit and it'll change that clap, right? Now I have a snare. All right so it just kind of matters what you want to do um right and just that simple you can actually put together a beat with just using iota mini 
So what I will do, I'm actually going to mix it, kind of lay out the track itself, and I'll be right back, show you guys what I did. All right, so I was able to kind of mix it down a little bit, um, give it a little bit of flair. So I added some reverb to the first keys or piano. Um, I also named them. So piano, pad, plucks, synth, 808 in the drums down here. I also added a crash and I also added a riser. So this is right here is a riser. This here is a crash. Um, added some compression on some of them, some reverb, nothing much on there, just chorus. Um, and as you see here, reverb and a delay on side of my crash, just give it a little ringing kind of sound. That's a really good uh, tip to actually have in there. Uh, add a couple of drops and mutes in here. I know a lot of people like to delete them. I just like to mute my tracks. I don't know why, it's just a habit of, of that I've formed. But a lot of people will like delete all this so it'll kind of be a little bit more sparse. Um, but I like to just mute mine just in case I want to go back and use it for something else. So. Uh, with that being said, I guess there's no further ado. Let me bring this up into a bigger track and so you guys can kind of see everything. And we're going to kind of start it from the beginning and yeah. All right. And what I'm going to do is put it on continuous scroll so you guys can kind of see it and you'll probably see my big face on the side. So enjoy. nice little sting ending and if you haven't already make sure you guys have liked and subscribed to the channel uh, and this is the iota mini and then like i said it's a free vst you can actually use it comes with the drums it comes with the 808s it comes with the sounds that you actually need and you get bonus free sounds with it as well so i don't see why you wouldn't actually have it in your arsenal but with that being said that's pretty much the end of this video like i said i hope you guys really enjoyed this one and i want to thank you for watching learning reaper Till next time, people. Peace. Hey, you. Yes, you. YouTube wants you to watch this video next, man. Go ahead and click it. I'll wait. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. I'm not going to keep waiting here. All right. I will see you in the next video, though. Peace.